a uh, MFT style And especially grip. we have heard you this know, name in stock, news channels whenever yeah. something and again, a Neotech mm -hmm. on top. related to and attack this is an or war. Of the type they of were always that, used you know, it. Obviously Hello friends, Sat Shri Akal. Welcome back to our channel Yankee Royal Reactionary. I'm Amanpreet Kaur, she is Neha and today we are up with another video. In this video, we are going to react on five guns the government doesn't want you to have. So this topic is going to be very interesting because we want to know that what are those guns that government doesn't want. We have seen one video where they were talking about that these uh, those were the five guns that you can take for your personal use or for your security purposes. Yeah. And they were showing that these are for women, these are for men. So everything they have uh, told us. So in uh, today's video, they will uh, they will tell us that which are the guns that government doesn't want. So, uh, government doesn't want is the main topic today. So let's see what's there in today's video and then we will talk about it. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Welcome back everybody. This is Eric and Barry from Moss Pawn and Gun. And today uh, we thought we'd hit you with another five guns video. I know these have been very popular. Uh, you guys have enjoyed them. So we want to make more. And uh, we were kind of thinking the other day, like, hey, what would be a good idea for a five guns video? And we came up with the idea, you know, what would be five guns? Mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of them that the government, mm -hmm. you know, wouldn't want you to have. But what would be the five they would go after first? Yeah, I mean, what are the top five guns that the government would just hate the idea of you mm -hmm. having? I know that uh, a lot of people in the government are very anti-gun. You know, they're anti-semi-automatic, modern sporting rifles, so on and so forth. So mm -hmm. uh, what would they be and why? So uh, let's discuss them. Well, not only the guns, that they, the five guns they would not yes. want you to have, but also the most evil looking guns that the media jumps all over. Evil looking you know what? Gun. That's exactly So I'm taking a pause here. I'm expecting that they are going to tell they are going to uh, introduce us the guns, but I want them to tell us the reason as well that why government doesn't want anyone to have those guns. Then it would be very interesting to know. Very looking gun and sometimes the aesthetics and appearance of a gun, you know, people think that it's mm -hmm. automatically more deadly or whatever, mm -hmm. but this just isn't the case. I mean, you can't go by the way a firearm looks, oh. um, but unfortunately the media tends to pick up on a lot of that and the government does mm -hmm. too. I mean, a lot of politicians, you know, may put I think, forth um, anti-gun you know, legislation uh, based you have uh, to solely need on so, uh, the cosmetic appearance of to operate these firearm. kind of well, guns. the news media survives on yes, uh, uh, keywords, uh, uh, cliches, sure. assault weapon. Of course, uh, they play. They play on that because it catches your ear when you hear it. Well, let's uh, let's show them five okay. awesome yeah, guns. Now, these are great guns. Okay, ear. we're not saying that. I mean, believe me, I am pro gun as hell. I don't want any of this stuff to ever get banned. I don't want mm -hmm. them coming after my stuff. I mean, I love my AKs and ARs. Show them that AR there oh, on the board. end. Well, we've got a he little AR down AKs. here. Yeah, and of course, yes. the ARs are always one of the things that uh, the government's always going to want to try to go for. They hate ARs. Uh, you know, they hate us having them. Got the little bipod on it. Okay, they yep. hate us having now, them. Now, 30-round magazine. We've got the uh, EOTech law enforcement side on top, flashlight. Backup sites. Uh, most sites. There's your basic. There's your basic evil AR. Of course, and you know because it looks scary and cool, you know it's automatically more deadly than something that's not. <clears throat> oh we've got uh, next going down the line. We've got a 12 gauge Sega. Look with a at drum. This. It also has the EOTech military law enforcement sight on it. Oh. Great gun. Uh, great gun. This is a machine Beautiful. gun. Actually, a uh, conversion that Ray did. Um, he's very uh, high speed when it comes to converting Segas. This one's actually got a folding mech uh, with one of the little short billet aluminum stocks. Quad a lot rail. Of upgrades, mm -hmm. yeah. Quad rail, 15 round drum. So this is a semi automatic 12 gauge that can shoot 15 oh. shots in under three seconds. Mm -hmm. Now remember, under folks, all these seconds. guns are available at Moss Pond. Ooh. Yes, absolutely. Um, one of the other firearms that we've got in recently is the Tavor. All right, ah. this is the uh, IWI Tavor. It's a uh, bullpup, semi-automatic sporting rifle. Takes standard AR-15 pattern magazines. Um, this is something that we've got in new. Um, the Tavors have only been out about a year and a half or two, so they're not quite as prevalent. Um, however, this is a good example of the type of guns that are out there that obviously the media looks at them and, and it's some scary looking bullpup mm -hmm. and obviously so I'm again taking a pause here. So I have seen these kind of, this is the third one. I have seen these kind of guns in the movies where there are villains, they are shooting in public or, or anywhere else. They have these kind of guns, the third one, IWI, which they were talking about. 
so when they showed it i was like yes i have seen somewhere <laughs> so i have seen in the movies these kind of guns seriously the same thing which i am thinking right now that these are all are the guns which we have seen on the movies on and especially the video games uh, which my sons play and i i'm uh, you know always scared to see that what are you playing these are so dangerous gun why are you playing with the, all these guns although uh, uh, you know they are uh, they are in games but i don't know i'm very scary uh, you know i feel very scary to watch all these guns so this is really very deadly combination so they're going to think wow that's that's futuristic that's you know frightening you know frightening. And, and it's scary so Seriously. obviously it must be more deadly because it's so scary looking but all this is is just a modern sporting version of the israeli uh defense force to war mm -hmm. and that's a bull pup uh 556 caliber um carbine great gun this has got a 28 shot magazine with a window in it Yep. Uh, but this gun is an excellent weapon. I'm, I'm sure all of you have heard of the gun. Sure. Oh, yeah. What have we got last, Eric? Well, I'll tell you what. We've got the AK-47. Oh, God. Um, this is a Sega conversion. This is actually another conversion that Ray put together. Um, it's a standard Sega rifle with the long barrel. Um, we've threaded it for a break. It's got a Harris bipod. In India, we have um, a this particular gun we've actually outfitted with a custom uh, Sig 550 handguard set one. that we made a custom bracket uh, for everything oh. to work with. It's got a uh, extended magazine release, a uh, MFT style grip. And especially grip. we have heard you this know, name in stock. news channels got got a whenever right. something and again, an mm -hmm. on top. related to and attack this is an or war. Of the type they of were guns always that, used. You know, obviously politicians yes. love going after these things yes, because they're scary right. looking. Mm -hmm. And the thing about the AK-47 is that it's synonymous with uh, yes. bad guys. Yes, bad guys. guys. And what's the first thing they think? Bad guy. They think of bad guys. Right. But the truth is, is that this is a gun that many people in America are just going to take out and have fun with. We're going to shoot stuff, play around. You know, it's not some evil, crazy assault weapon like the media makes it out to be. You know, it's just a sporting gun. What? Well, Barry, uh, this it's is just four a guns. Sporting What's the fifth gun? One? Well, I don't know. It, Where is uh, it? Yeah. I'll tell you what. Like we got one more gun. Now, if, if the government, bad. you know, uh, had their way, I'm sure they would not want you to have this. All right. This is the king of king rifles. Of rifles. Okay? And it's by, and this is produced by a model American. Oh. It's the Barrett M107. Semi-automatic 50 caliber uh, anti-material rifle. There you go. I think 10 it's shot magazine. You can put it like that. 50 BMG as quick as you can pull the trigger. 10 shots in the magazine. This is a bad boy right here. <laughs> uh, you know, this particular gun, I mean, these are about twelve to $13,000. So mm -hmm. very expensive rifle, a uh, little bit of weight. Uh, the earlier versions of the Barrett, obviously, um, mm -hmm. very wonderful guns. But the M107 mm -hmm. represents uh, pretty much the pinnacle of a big bore anti-material firepower in a very portable package. And this is something that, all right, get this. Okay. You're a citizen in the US and you turn 18 years old. You can walk into a gun store and you can <gasps> buy this and no one will care. If you've got the money, you can buy that gun. If you got the money, more power to you. Mm -hmm. I'm sure this is not Bloomberg approved. Most certainly not Bloomberg approved. Oh yeah. Get some oh. of that. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm scared. I love it. Well, all right. <laughs> well, folks, we've got five guns here that I'm sure the government uh, does not want you to have, uh, and the uh, bleeding hearts and the anti-gunners certainly don't want you to have. Yeah. But uh, we hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you were entertained by it. And uh, check us out next time. Yeah, you know, hopefully, if anything, it was a good excuse to show you some awesome weaponry. Um, definitely some awesome weaponry. And mm -hmm. here's the thing. You know, the term weaponry gets thrown around a lot when it comes to these types of firearms. I mean, it's a weapon, it's scary, it's some baby killer, mm -hmm. it's some assault weapon. But at the end of the day, it's nothing more than a modern semi-automatic sporting rifle. Okay, you can go out and have fun with yeah. it, have fun with the kids, do a little shooting. It's no big deal. I mean, people have this misconception about gun owners in America that we're a bunch of crazy, you know, weirdos or whatever. But a lot of people integrate these types of firearms into their family fun, mm -hmm. into their plinking and training. And uh, it's no different than any other gun. 
just cosmetically, they do look a little scary, uh -huh. but they're no different than any other firearm. Well, remember, folks, we've got a lot more guns here at Moss Pond, and pretty soon we'll be doing another gun tour. Yep. We've got a lot of new guns, yep. and we need to get them in tune yeah, with Yeah, we, we've actually a little late on the gun tour this year. We'll try to wrap that up for you guys as soon as possible. All right. Um, there's a lot of things in the pipeline that we're trying to do. So um, we definitely appreciate you guys watching today. You know, uh, make sure you check us out on Facebook, all the social media websites you see below. Also, we have a uh, awesome members only section of our website. Uh, be sure to sign up, join uh, for plenty of behind the scenes exclusive content that I promise you, you guys are going to love. Yeah. You're going to love it. Absolutely. So um, hopefully this video was straight to the point, a little bit informative for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, we appreciate you guys watching today. Y'all tune in next time. Absolutely. Yeah. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time. See ya. to the end of the video and I think uh, for non-Americans like us we are a bit scary uh, while yeah. watching these kind of videos and we have that misconception which they were talking about yes we thought that uh, anyone can go crazy with the guns and they were saying that it is only for fun but yes these misconceptions are everywhere that yes you can go to America and buy any kind of gun you want or you can do whatever you want because we have seen so many things on social media that we have seen so much uh, on social media that we have started to believe on th those kind of things but yes if uh, you want to check out any st any kind of stuff like uh, the guns then their channel is the best i have seen the two videos and the way they show the guns are wow i love the way they are telling about their guns it's their business busy, but yes they yeah. show it very very in a good manner so yes the video was superb seriously i think the motive behind making this video these guys are actually proving their point uh, they were just presenting their point of view about the uh, you know these all guns that uh, the government should uh, you know the government does not want you to have but basically they come to uh, prove that uh, these all are the similar guns as uh, uh, the government allows which guns so uh, these are the functions are very similar but if you are using in a good manner in a good way just for your fun and just for your entertainment and just for you know uh, firing section is just okay uh, when you uh, use it in a good manner but if you use for a uh, bad reasons for some uh, you know bad things then definitely each and every even if you use a simple nail cutter for uh, you know to harm someone to you know uh, uh, to do something very disturbing for anyone's life so uh, so i think uh, then a simple nail cutter is uh, harmful for us so these all are the you know scary one guns but if you are using it in a right manner it all just for fun so i think they cleared this misconception very nicely and i just really love this video that they come up with some uh, good uh, type of content and they were proving that these all are the guns just for your fun not using to harm anyone okay guys let's end it here if you like it then please hit the like button if you are new to the channel then go and subscribe now do let us know your thoughts in the comment section and we'll see you in the next video. Till then. Okay, bye.